as you get ready to start your studies at Sapienza, here's a short recap on what you need to do to complete your enrollment and start your academic journey in Rome. If you applied for one of the programs available on our pre-selection platform, you should already have uploaded all your documents. And if all went well, you should have a pre-acceptance letter. Congrats! Now, there are just a few more steps to follow and you'll need three things. A computer, an internet connection, and a cold drink for the toughest bits. Let's begin! Your first step is getting your student ID number, matricola in Italian. To do this, you need to register on InfoStud, Sapienza's online student platform. You'll use InfoStud to enroll, print payment slips, and book exams. And a couple of other things, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. To register, go to uniroma1.it and click on Students. This is the InfoStud login page. Click on Register and fill in all the required fields. Once you have completed the registration, you will receive a confirmation by email with your student ID number and provisional password. Save it because you'll need it from now on. Great! You have completed the first step! For further information and support at this point, you can write to hello at uniroma1.it. If you are a non-EU student, you have to get a study visa. In order to obtain it, you need to register on universitaly.it, Italy's online platform for international students. On Universitaly, fill in the registration form, making sure to use the same email address you used on the pre-selection platform. You'll then need to select the program to which you have been pre-accepted. Don't worry about it if you're applying to a program with no pre-selection. You won't need a letter in that case, as you'll be evaluated at a later stage. To make sure your application is not rejected, please upload all the documents currently in your possession before hitting the Submit button. If your documents are correct, we'll validate your application as soon as possible. But please note that it may take some time. If you have any problems at this point, please write to accesso.sapienza at uniroma1.it. Now that you have your matricola, don't forget to read the call for applications for your program and read it carefully. To download the call, go to Programs and Admissions, then Bachelor's and Master's Degrees. Type the name of your program in the search bar. This is the program page. Each program has one and it's very important. To find your call, click on Apply and then click here and here it is. The call for applications contains all the information about your program, about Universitaly, paying fees and much more. The call will indeed answer most of your questions, except for the meaning of life. If you have any questions about the call for applications, please use the contacts, services, facilities box. At this point, you should pay your pre-enrollment fee. Please pay by the deadline indicated on the call for applications by accessing your personal area on InfoStud and using the PagoPa online platform. For assistance during the payment, go to uniroma1.it, then International, and click on Admissions. Here you'll find a PDF file to guide you through the process. Once you're done, you will be redirected to InfoStud and receive a payment received via email. We are almost there, you've come a really long way. Give yourself a round of applause! Okay, stop, we haven't finished yet. Check and make sure you have all the mandatory enrollment documents for your program. The list is available on your pre-acceptance letter and in the call for applications. Please read them carefully. Each program has its own procedures and deadlines. If you have any questions or problems concerning the payment or doubts about your documents, please write to the Hello Foreign Student Office at settore studenti stranieri at uniroma1.it. Now let's move on to languages. If your program is in English, you don't have to take a test because your English level has already been checked. If your program is in Italian, you'll need to take an online language test at the Sapienza Language Center, CLA. You'll receive more details about when and how to take your test as soon as they're available. 
Please remember, if you have a valid Italian language certificate, B2 level or higher, you won't need to take a test. Some programs also require an admission test. In that case, the call for applications will tell you what to do next, including the date and time of your test. If you have completed all these steps, you are awarded with an honorary degree. Now you can get in touch with the Hello Foreign Students office, which will double check everything and, fingers crossed, validate your registration. Great! If everything is fine, you'll be able to enroll by paying the first installment of your tuition fees on InfoStud, following the same procedure you use to pay your pre-enrollment fee. You'll officially become a Sapienza student only after paying your tuition fees. And now that all the paperwork is finally done, you're ready to join the largest university in Europe. And remember, you will live in one of the most vibrant and fascinating cities in the world, Rome. Welcome to Italy. Welcome to Rome. Welcome to Sapienza. And feel at Rome.